Hey guys, I'm Aaron and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about Zoom and Zoom Extents. So why is this video so special? Why does Zoom and Zoom Extents get to hang out together when everybody else has to have their own video? Uh, truth is, Zoom Extents is an incredibly simple command and doing a video on its own would make it about 30 seconds. So we just figured I'd just, just throw this in here with Zoom and you can see how that works too. But of course, because this is SketchUp for iPad, there's a handful of ways to use these tools uh, depending on your input device, pencil, touch, mouse, and we're gonna run through all of them right now. Okay, so if you wanna activate Zoom, it's not in the default toolbar, it's not gonna be in this chunk at the top, you do have to use the fly out, little ellipse button at the bottom and choose Zoom from this section at the bottom. Section at the bottom is all your view options. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Zoom. And the way it works with the pencil, whether you're in click, move, click, or just draw mode, is you're gonna to touch the tip of your uh, pencil to the screen and then just move it up and down. And that's gonna zoom you in and out. Left and right does nothing. So no nothing changes there. Up and down, zooms in and out. So what happens if you don't have your pencil and you have to use your finger? It works exactly the same. Touch the screen, slide up, slide down, zooming in and out. Mouse, you're not gonna believe this, same exact thing. If I hit the left mouse button and then move my mouse up and down, it zooms in and out. Now, if you are using a mouse with a scroll wheel, this will function the same as SketchUp Pro. So as I zoom the or I roll the scroll wheel forward to zoom out, roll it backwards, it zooms in, just like SketchUp Pro does on your computer. Now, there is a gesture for zooming as well, and it's, it's the pinch. It's what we're all used to seeing or using on iPad. So if I have my fingers apart and I pull them together, I zoom out, have my fingers together, separate them, I get, further, I get zoomed in. Very simple, and this is this is very nice. Again, like this is my favorite method of input is to do my actual drawing with a pencil. So I'm in here, uh, you know, I'm in select mode right now. So I come in here and select something. And if I want to zoom in or out, what I tend to do is grab onto that pencil with the first finger, just just death grip. Do not let it go. And then uh, you don't have to hold them that hard actually. So and then I have my second finger and thumb, and using that I can zoom in and out like that. So great way to navigate specifically on SketchUp for iPad. Now, the other command we're talking about was Zoom Extents, also down here under the ellipse, uh, second row of this bottom section. And this is a little bit different from a lot of the tools in SketchUp because when I click on it, it just runs. It doesn't come up and give me any other options. There's no, no interacting. Zoom Extents immediately zooms your drawing so the whole thing fits on the screen. So you can see right here, I have this tall cylinder right here. It was off the screen for most of this video. Zoom extents, shrunk it down, zoomed out enough so that it fit on the screen vertically like this. So wherever I'm zoomed in, I'm down here talking to Sal and I hit zoom extents, same thing, it pulls me out there. Now the opposite is true too. So if I zoom way out, like a ridiculous amount like that, this might happen sometime. You might zoom some way weird or I don't know, something goes on with your mouse or you, you know, whoops, I, I just panned off so everything's gone. How do I get back? Zoom extents works there too. Cause that just takes your model, fills it up in the screen, and there you go. It's also a great troubleshooter too, by the way, Zoom Extents is, because if I hit Zoom Extents and for some reason my model's like tiny over here, that would probably indicate that there's some extra geometry right about here that's getting caught in that Zoom Extents and it's zooming out so you can show it to you. Um, so a good tool, not just for backing out so you can see your whole model, but also a troubleshooting tool if you ever have any weird zooming going on where, where stuff isn't showing up where it should or, you know, I said something like that where you're zoomed way out. So that's everything I think of about zoom or zoom extents. There's no modifiers or anything like that. It's really pretty simple. And, and using that, you know, grabbing that pencil and using your fingers like that, the gesture makes it super easy and just, it feels really smooth as you're moving around zooming that way. Um, but if you don't like that, if you're a guy who likes to like somebody who likes to like just use those commands, that tool is there. You can click on it. I should gesture this way. That tool is there. You can click on it and zoom just by moving your controlling device, whatever it is, 
up or down. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment down below. How do you do Zoom? We would love to know. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.